Breast cancer researchers released some important new information for women today. For the first time, scientists have found that breast cancer patients who don't have enough vitamin D in their bodies are much more likely to have their cancer spread and to die from the disease. Here's John McKenzie. For millions of women, this study raises an exciting possibility that vitamin D, a basic nutrient, a pill that costs just pennies a day, might have a profound impact on their breast cancer. The study is significant because it tells us this may be one thing that women can do to improve their prognosis. Researchers following more than 500 women with breast cancer found that women deficient in vitamin D were 94% more likely to have their cancer spread and 73% more likely to die from their cancer. Vitamin D is pretty unique in its actions in that it does enter the cancer cells and induce them to undergo a cell death process. This is a cluster of human breast cancer cells. Now add vitamin D and those cancer cells start to shrivel up and die. The effects of vitamin D on breast cancer cells are very similar to the effects of the established drug tamoxifen. Vitamin D has also been linked to a lower risk of developing cancer. Not only breast cancer, but colon and prostate cancers as well. The problem is, many people are not getting enough vitamin D. In this latest study, 76% of the breast cancer patients had inadequate levels. A simple blood test can determine whether someone is vitamin D deficient and by how much. That's what happened to Dr. Ann McTiernan. A researcher in breast cancer prevention, McTiernan exercises daily, eats nutritiously, and recently discovered that she too had severely low levels of this vitamin. I was very surprised at how low my vitamin D levels were. I thought I was doing everything right. Now, with daily vitamin D supplements, she just might be. John McKenzie, ABC News, New York. And another report today finds a growing number of women with early stage breast cancer choosing to have mastectomies. 